Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com, and Megan Tracy has an article on a new type of battery that runs on salt water. Now, this is a kit that you can buy on the right and make one yourself. And they first prototyped this a few years ago, and we'll show you that picture in a second. But first, let's explain how it works. So the battery extracts sodium ions from seawater when it's charged with electricity. Then it stores them within the cathode compartment. I believe it's some sort of porous porcelain material that basically just holds the seawater. The seawater itself acts as the cathode and the electrolyte in the battery. They're calling it a catholyte, the American Chemical Society newsletter. Let's go to that page right now because they have a nice picture of a diagram that shows you how it works right here. I'll link to that last page in the description, but this is the catholyte material. Its energy is stored. The ions are stored in here, and then they can be discharged through a light or recharged and you know any battery could be this is the prototype that they developed a few years ago they sold them as kits and this is the current working model and by the end of this year this group of researchers in korea hopes to develop a model that can be reproduced at a commercial level that can store enough energy to run an average home for one day this could be a great breakthrough for not only battery technology, but alternative energy like solar, wind, hydroelectric, that sort of thing. Because the biggest problem is storage and transmission of the energy. This could be great because lithium, it's not that cheap, it's not that easy to refine, and sodium, it's just everywhere. Salt water, seawater, we have more than enough to make a lot of batteries that can power the entire world if we really wanted to. So good luck to this group of scientists here, and I'm going to link to the three pages in the description, this page, the Tree Hugger page, and the American Chemical Society newsletter. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.